What's going on, everybody? What's going on, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? This is my second take doing this. We got a log. Nice. Yeah. They saw me do my first take. I bet they're like, I'm gonna say something to him on his second time through. <laughs> All right, folks, we are back at the beach, back at the beach, doing big things because we're back at the beach. Holy cow, look at that boy flying there, messing with the other small bird. They are doing their thing. What are they doing? Yeah, the beach is good. I don't have to worry about copyright music here, which is nice. Indian Rocks is sweet. There's more people here than I thought there'd be though. Usually it's pretty um, empty because there's not really many places to park. So I was driving around. I went to like four different spots and each one of the spots only have like six spots. And of course all the spots are taken because it's about to be sunset and everybody wants to be on the beach at sunset. Back at the beach. Back at the beach. Let's get it. I meant to buy a windscreen. I really hope. Well, I have a windscreen, but I meant to buy a better one. I mean. I really hope that um, this isn't ripping your ears. You know, upon re-watching my videos, I, um, I realized that I said something dumb the other day. I was going, um, well, I re-watched the George Harrison documentary on HBO, and in the previous stream, I had said that, oh, George Harrison wrote Here Comes the Sun while he's on acid, and, um, woke up you know, I was at when the sun was coming up and all this and that. Turns out, he he wrote that in a part of his life where he hadn't taken acid in a long time. And it's just hilarious how you think you remember something some way, and it's not even close. Although, I did watch that documentary like when it came out, I don't know, probably like quite a while ago, so... Those are some sweet houses. Nice house right on the beach. That would be nice. So here's a word for the, to the wise, or however that phrase goes. Don't count on your memories to be right. <laughs> and even if you think you remember something some way, you know, you could rem be remembering it completely different. Walking all over this seaweed. But I look like a nut walking through that. I got my sandals on still though. Back at the beach. Back at the beach. Don't have to worry about copy music at the beach. Copyright music that is. Everyone's posted up, getting ready for the sunset. I don't 
don't know how many videos I'm going to shoot while I'm here. I think, who knows? You're probably sitting there thinking, oh my god, Jacob, who cares? <laughs> Which is good. I love that. Man, those guys are dark as dark. They've been tanning for years. Back at the beach. Back at the beach. I was at Walmart the other day, or yesterday that is. Oh my God, it felt like I was back at Disney World. It sucked. <laughs> I was there to pick up some ramekins. Make my favorite dessert, creme brulee. Which is very easy to make, by the way. If you never knew that, I mean, my God, it's easy to make. I never even knew all you got to do is just bring a, two quarts of cream to boil and then, you know, mix that with egg yolks and sugar and then cook them in the ramekins soak, um, with water, you know, sitting in water. And they come out perfect. It's like restaurant quality. It's so good. And then you um, put the fresh sugar on there and you torch it up. Serve it with some raspberries and strawberries and uh, bananas, some blueberries. God, you got something going on there. She's got some art going on, which is nice. I do that when I'm at the beach too. One of my favorite YouTube channels is Epicurious. They are so good. I just love that channel. I could watch them all day. I love it. I love those big birds. Pelicans, I think they're called. Yeah, Epicurious is good. It does, they do this thing where they'll take a, like a professional chef a uh, really good at home chef and like a basic I call it like college like just doesn't know what they're doing kind of chef and they'll have them all three make the same dishes and um, I just love that my favorites my favorite chefs on there I like Frank I like um, Saul I like Lorenzo and I like Emily. <laughs> Emily just cracks me up. She is one of the, the bad chefs. And her meals always are just like, come on, Emily. <laughs> like, the last one I watched before I left the house. Actually, I, I was watching one before I left the house. Just before I came to shoot this video. Which is probably why it even came up anyways. But, um... They were making like perf like hot dogs, right? And Frank made like he ground the meat, he filled the casings, he did every single part of it. And the middle chef, she basically just like she used like really good bratwurst and you know cooked them in beer and onions and everything. Both of those really good, really good options. Emily, all she does is take an Oscar Mayer wiener and boil it and put it on a regular bun and that's it with some ketchup and mustard. <laughs> Just like, what is the point of this? Why am I watching this? You and me. 
love. Good job, whoever wrote that. Oh, they have more to say. Happy birthday, James. I'm not going to switch back to that one. That one's not. If I could live on any beach, I, th I think it might be Indian Rocks Beach. I think it's the nicest beach, and it's not like clear water, really. Look at that sun coming down. Beautiful. Really something else. You know what else I was watching before I left the house? Um, well, not by my choice, but my girlfriend likes these um, drag kings called uh, Trixie and Katya. They are so funny. I <laughs> just love them. I would never watch them on my own, but they are good. They, ha they are like hilarious. You know what I think? They are like the modern day geishas. <laughs> they, they just like... Excuse me. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. That little kid was running right at me. That seemed like a nice group. Nice family. Didn't want to pan the camera over at them when they were doing that thing. I was like, oh, sorry, that kid's about to splash you, but... What do you come to the beach for if you're not going to get splashed, you know? It's not like I'm... Man, I'm at the beach. Jeez, Louise. That's like people that go to Disney World and are like, These kids? God! It's like, you're at Disney World, you idiot. <laughs> what do you think's going to happen? I wonder if I got that bird on film. He was swooping. Everybody was like, dang, look at that man. He's a man with the plan. You know what I just realized? Oh crap. <laughs> I don't, these exits all look exactly the same. I don't remember which one I parked at. That is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> I have no idea. I love Indian Rocks Beach though. I used to come here, my friend, Dear friends, still friends to this day, but um, his uncle lived out here, and we used to come out here and have parties and do it all, all the fun stuff. Nice couple walking at the sunset. It's good. Uh. 
Ooh, I almost caught it. Hit it right in the hands. No excuse. Although, I played offensive line when I played football, so I have no room to talk. <laughs> Although, that was like so long ago, it's dumb to even have any attachment to that still. This is a big part of my life, though. Lots of fun. If I could do it all over again, I don't think I'd play, though. A lot of brain trauma. A lot of bang bang. So much easier filming here than Disney World. My God, Disney World. There, there would be like people swarming me by now. And here, I'm just walking down the beach relaxing, which is good. I like that. The funny thing about being at the beach, though, it's always... <laughs> I hate that I do that. But anyways, um, like, there's only one or two ways. There's one, like, you can either go left or right when you're at the beach. So if you're walking the same direction as somebody else, you better, like, pace it out so you're not... <laughs> like, I hate when I'm walking down the beach and there's someone literally walking right behind me. That bugs me. I'm going to take the sandals off and walk in this water a little bit deeper. Folks, walk in the water, folks. Oh, very nice on my feet. This is like skimboarder's paradise. I used to do that. I'll tell you, that sport, if you can even call it a sport, you pretty much is guaranteed to get hurt every time you do it. I mean, seriously, every time I did it, I would tear my legs up and everything. Ooh, this is a little deeper than I thought it'd be. But then it comes up and there's no water here. Isn't that weird? That kid's learning. Sun's getting lower, folks. That will probably be not in this video, though, considering I'm almost at 20 minutes now. So I'll probably cut it, relax for a bit. Maybe then just keep on walking. See, this is the thing. I really don't know. I mean, honestly, like, see, if it were me, I'd want to keep watching. Like, I'd want it to be like an hour-long video or whatever. But I can't take what I want and put that on everybody else. But of course, they do say you should just make what you want to watch and then just forget it. Well, I don't know. That's a, that's a predicament. Maybe I'll just put it in parts. Part one, part two, and so on and so forth. Not like I needed to say that for you to know. <laughs> so dumb. But there's, hey, there's a lot of dumb people, so maybe, you know, people will watch and be like, hey, this guy is my kind of guy. <laughs> It's 
see, the funny thing is, I just really don't know where just to stop, though. Where do I stop? Where do I start? Huh. I don't know. Good question. Fourth of July, this beach will be nuts. It always is. Well, all the beaches. Funny thing about these beaches, honestly, is, um, you know, when you're driving out here, like, eventually it just runs into a beach no matter where you go, it's a dead end. So, like, the congestion gets so bad. I think I might end it here, guys. That way I can just, you know. That's a nice shot. Oh, hopefully I can't really see the screen. Thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> that sounds so dumb. I love it.